Hey there, everybody. After a game of fourth round in Turkish Airlines, you're really partisan this. Oh, partisan was a bad one over Sega Fredo Virtus with 1962. Mr. Sergio Scariola, head coach of Sega Fredo Virtus, is with us. Coach, how did you see tonight's game? Well, first of all, I, I want to congratulate uh, Partizan for, for the win and their uh, 16,000 fans, which uh, had a huge, huge importance into into this game, pushing their players to to play to play their best. Uh, for sure, they play harder than us. There's no question from the very beginning. The first quarter was decisive. What was basically making a difference, especially uh, Nana and mother uh, were were uh, almost unstoppable for our defense. Um, that probably put us in a, in a not, not really mentally steady uh, mindset. Uh, we rush shot, we, we miss, uh, we miss uh, screens, we didn't finish uh, with the right decisiveness and uh, that gap which, which was built in the first quarter basically determined the, out of, the outcome of the game in the two central quarters we competed, we were there, we caused some mistakes, and then in the fourth quarter, I, I, I of course, felt that there was no time to, to have our veteran players in on the floor, and uh, just uh, accept that Partizan was, was the, the best, the better team tonight, and, uh, and uh, accept it. Go back to work tomorrow, learn, watch film, improve, uh, learn by mistake, think, see what we did well every now and then, and try to be better in the next game. Thank you, Mr. Scariolo. If you have questions, please introduce yourself, take the microphone because of the broadcast, and tell us from which media outlet you're coming from. You can ask in Serbian, I will translate the question. Just please take the microphone. Za gospodina Kariola, prvo, moram da vam česta na ono nešto postigao za rezultacijom. Kada je sa prvo, 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 a pitao bi ga samo, da li je ovo jedan izuzetno loš dan njegove ekipe, ili kontraritam, ili se radi o tome da je ekipa kada zna danas bila potpuno dominanta i da prašno nisu imali šans na tom celu tako. Kada je sa kontraritam na tvoj tim, da je sa prvo, da je sa prvo, da je sa prvo, Partizan was dominant from the very beginning and that was the reason why you didn't have a chance to fight. Well, there is always kind of a mix of reasons, right? I would first of all give credit to Partizan because they they played uh, really well. They were they were extremely um, assertive and, and, and uh, decisive in doing their stuff and taking their shots. Um, in, in playing a good physical defense, so we've got to give credit to them. Uh, at the same time, I think that even if we are still very late in our in our uh, team building with several new players, with players quite out of shape and, uh, and an important player like Shigeli out, I think we could have done better. And I think we could have, um, I would say, for example, fight better on rebounds under the boards, um, selected some of our shots better, um, avoided uh, most of the turnovers in the first half. So there are, there are things which objectively let him alone, uh, partisan, uh, uh, let's say, uh, effort and, and good basketball to put us in trouble. But I think we also unforced, unfortunately, with, uh, we, we, we did some mistake which we cannot, we cannot make. Okay, thank you. I'll translate briefly. In principle, on the first place, I would like to ask you a question. I would like to ask you a question. I would like to ask you a question on a good game and on what they have provided. On the other hand, even though it was a Virtus team that was kind of close to a few new players, they were very important players as well as the Tokish Nigeria, they had neke neizniđene greške, sigurno su mogli da se bore bolje posebno u skoku, neostaljivi partizanu priliku da razvije svoj
svoju igru i da jednostavno, da kažem, da su mogli svakako bolje, da su definitivno i oni mogli da odigraju bolje. Pavle. Hvala vam, Pavle, kažem, da ćete sedam coach, prosto, o Evropskom reči reči koji je vidio basket, da je jedan magnificent sukses. About Tedosic, how close he is to full fitness and when do you expect him to be at his best to help the team? And do you have any plan or goals in your league this season? What is the sporting goal? Well, about Miloš, as you know, he missed the whole pre-season and the whole summer because he didn't finish his participation with the national team. So basically, before playing his first game uh, last week, uh, the previous game was in June. And uh, especially for a veteran player, it's a lot of time. A lot of time without, without uh, being active, without being, being engaged in, uh, in the, I would say, game uh, rhythm, right? So I cannot say when, when he will be back in the, at his uh, best shape. I think he can, he can give us good minutes already. Uh, and that, that I think overall, it's not the case that uh, we, we are not planning to play him uh, 30 minutes per game. This is not, not his, his role, this is not his position. We have to uh, use his uh, uh, extremely high basketball IQ in the right way. This is a long season with many games. We can't overload him, we can't uh, uh, take risk of the injuries. So, uh, I mean, I cannot make a prediction. I cannot make a prediction, but we we will take our time. I mean, we are not in a rush about that. And about goals, we are first year Euroleague back since many many years out. Every everybody must adjust. Uh, everybody from from uh, myself to the team to the club to the to the fan. Everybody must understand that uh, the Euroleague we left behind 15 years ago is not this. Nowadays, you know, the, the level of, uh, of uh, the physicality, uh, how demanding it is, it is extremely, extremely high. Our goal is to be in the group of the teams who are uh, not uh, leaving, let's say, the race to make the playoffs early. We want to be in that group of teams who keep uh, fighting and having a chance to, to Fight, fight for for a playoff seat until until the end. Then we know that it's almost impossible. It is impossible to pick up ten teams who can. Uh, I would say even two teams who, who will be out of the race. Imagine ten out of eighteen. That's you can also do well. And many teams will do well and will not make the playoffs. But at least you got to compete. You got to compete. You got to show that you belong. <laughs> something we didn't really do tonight and do it until the very end and we'll see where where uh, the standings will uh, will set us okay. one more uh, since you mentioned your long absence how is that in bologna uh, we see partizan was also long absence from euro league we see in success what is your feeling in, in bologna after return to the euro league does, does it have that same uh, celebratory feeling uh, of, of big club returning to top competition? Well, um, we had we played just one game at home. First game and the atmosphere was, was good. Then we played a really, really top level team like Monaco. <laughs> the, out, the outcome was not too good for us. It was a great expectation. Actually, last, last season was, was a, um, a whole season in the, in the wait for, for this Euro Cup. And, uh, and finally, we end up winning, and, uh, and we were so so happy to participate. But as I said from minute one, winning Euro Cup and getting the ticket to play Euroleague, it's uh, it's uh, a medal with two faces. One is of course great. The second one is extremely demanded. So we have to be prepared to to to, to fight, to struggle to suffer and to keep uh, being together, cohesive, and, uh, and fight for what we can accomplish. We are still, still very early in the competition to, to 
make a, to envision what's gonna happen in two or three months. So let's take game by game and see see where we will be in uh, in a few weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More questions from Mr. Skyro? If not, coach, thank you very much. We wish thank you. Good luck. Well, continue soon with coach. Have a good